sportowe emocje pod koszem zapewnia Anvil, sponsor strategiczny klubu. Alright, what's up everybody? I'm Deshaun Booker. Here to answer some questions for the fast break. Let's get to it. Um, first question is, do you know any NBA players personally? And yes, I do. Uh, my boy JB, Jimmy Butler, who's in the NBA Finals right now. Uh, on his way to get his first ring. Uh, I guess one, one interesting thing is, uh, I guess being at his house, it, it teaches you to kind of appreciate the people you have around because there's no not really electronics or no TVs or you know anything like that so I like uh, I don't know it just forces you to spend time with the people who basically you enjoy uh, so that's one thing I appreciate about him uh, do you like soccer and do you have a favorite club or player uh, Damien uh, I actually have a lot of respect for soccer um, I can't play at all, so it's a little frustrating because I like to be be able to, you know, be good at something if I do it. Uh, but do I have a favorite club? No, I do not. But uh, favorite player? <laughs> Anytime the ball hits me in the head or hits my foot, I always call out Neymar or Neymar Jr. <laughs> so I guess you can say Neymar. <laughs> He's my favorite player, uh, but I definitely have a lot of respect, and I would like to go see some games, for sure. It's on my bucket list. What did you know about Poland before you signed? This is from Jasik. Uh, I don't know if I should say the Z before, so Danik, I don't know. That's close, I'm sorry again. Uh, um, last year we actually had, we came to Poland and played two games. Um, it actually, I didn't know much before. Um, I know a few people who played here, uh, before, but not in this specific city. Um, they liked the league. They said the league is a lot better than, uh, than where I was. Um, so competition was there. Um. But I'm not, I don't like to, I'm the type of person I don't like to, to do too much research and and have, you know, a, an idea of what, what to expect uh, when I go to a new place. I like to, you know, experience it and um, take it one day at a time. I don't want to have a bunch of expectations, of, you know. I know. Who is your closest friend on the team? And who is your roommate? Uh, Adam and Piorczyk. Okay, uh, let's see, I spend a lot of time with, uh, with Trey and, and, you know, we go out to eat a lot quite often and actually Wojtek, we spend a lot of time because we all stay in the same apartment building, so we ride together a lot, eat together a lot, um, yeah, those are, those are the, the two guys I'm around the most outside of practices and stuff. Five people asked this question. Okay, what do you think, uh, where do you think you have space to improve as a basketball player? And it is said you are struggling with some difficulty in defense. Do you agree? I think uh, for the first question, where do I have to improve? Um, I think there's some moments in time during the game where, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of, Worried about too much that's going on during the game, and I I got to play a little bit, but uh, just play through that. And I'm sorry, play through those moments, and um, instead of you know overthinking things. And as far as defense, um, I think my biggest weakness on defense is probably or not weakness. Yeah, I guess you can say weakness. An area I need to work on is. Uh, trusting uh, the teammates and my help side. So when when I help, trusting that uh, there's gonna be another player behind me to, you know, be helping or make the same show and, and things of that nature. And I think that comes with time playing with the, with the guys. Um, next question is, uh, can you cook? And if I can, what is my specialty? Um, this is from, my psych, 
I think. I'm sorry if I messed up your name and I know our feelings. <laughs> but uh, I can cook a little bit. I'll leave the cooking up to my mom. She's the chef. Um, but if I had a specialty, uh, let's see. I don't know. I always, in college, the, the meals that got me through was this shrimp and grit bowl that my mom taught me. Um, chicken and waffles, a uh, little salmon, potatoes. Those are probably my go-to right there. Um, oof. How much time do you have to spend on your hairstyle? <laughs> this is from 11 people. 11 people want to know. Um, so I guess the process is uh, you have to take these down. Um, once you take these down, it'll go into the, you know, the afro. But the afro would be like all uh, hanging down, similar to this hair. Uh, you gotta wash it, you know, condition it up, uh, comb it all out. That's the long part. That part takes like an hour, hour and a half. Um, yeah. <laughs> Then, um, then once you do all of that, you gotta, you know, part it all up. And then, yeah, and then you gotta redo it, retwist it. Uh, the twist actually don't take, don't take too long. Just the, the, the long part is, you know, combing it all out, washing it, conditioning it. That's, that's the most time consuming. Uh, so all together, the longest I took was four hours doing my hair so <laughs> what are the origins of day shampoo nickname and do you like it um i think the origins are from the guy behind this camera um he always used to mess with me about my afro and uh he came up with the nickname day shampoo and i think i i think it kind of fits the afro a little bit um uh, most definitely hopefully uh we can work with some shampoo or something. <laughs> get a new get a new name out there or something like that, but I enjoy it. How do you recollect your time in Nimber playing with Yvonne? Camille? Christoforski? Uh sorry again, but hey, Yvonne's my boy. Uh there we spent a lot of time together. He came a little bit later in the season. So he didn't know any places or to eat or anything like that. And uh, so after practices and stuff, we would spend a lot of time eating. And we also stayed in the same building. So yeah, he runs my boys. It's like no time lost being here with them or playing with them for sure. Uh, what do you like most in Slavic? Ooh, in addition, Melody, Borek. All right, okay. Uh, what do I like the most? Um, I like the most probably the fans because, um, you know, it's, I've never been, not, and I've been in few environments where the fans are, are that involved, you know, inside the gym and outside the arena. Um, I think that's something I appreciate, appreciate a lot, for sure. Uh, makes you respect being here a little more. Who is the hardest guard that you played against? Um, Messiah, again, hey, my boy got some questions, huh? Some good ones. Uh, the hardest guard. Um, let's see, in open, in back home in Las Vegas, uh, playing against Pierre, Pierre Jackson, he's a, he's a hard guard, man, because he can shoot the ball. He's fast and I don't know what. Um, and his change of pace is really good. So he's one of the uh, my favorite people to play against because, you know, he makes you have to think. And there's not many other guards that can, you know, move and play the way he plays. So you're able to play against him. Yeah, you're pretty good. You're pretty set. Um, as far as in Europe, um, I will go with. Um, not because of talent, but, uh, Huertas from, uh, Tenerife, because he's, uh, he's smart, man. He's a, 
he's a very, very smart point guard. He plays, you know, he doesn't use a lot of just athleticism or anything like that. He just puts you in positions to where um, he manipulates almost your entire defense, and, and he's a he's a hard guard, man. He's a, he's a great player. So those those two right there probably. Tell some backstage stories about you starting here with Slavic. Um, how was it? Who convinced you? And was it hard or rather easy to make a decision? Adam. This is my boy Adam from maybe. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I first began hearing about um, Anwil from playing with Devon uh, while we were in Nimber. Uh He spoke about his time here. Um, also about the, the fans, which I've got to witness firsthand myself. Uh, and just the, the community, um, the, the way he spoke about it, uh, was the type of environment I was raised in. Um, so I guess that definitely had an influence on it. Um, just as far as convincing, uh, I've seen how the guys played last year, um, just their tempo and the pace of play. I thought that was a perfect fit, and you know, you combine those two things, and uh, just a chance to compete after sitting out for five months. <laughs> I think that's what it, we got the decision done there. Uh, so shout out to Yvonne, and shout out to the fans. Have you sightseen Wolslavic a bit? Have you got a favorite places, uh, Philip? Uh, I haven't sightseen too much. I've only walked around, uh, just around my house a little bit. Um, my favorite place is to eat, I guess you can say. Uh, it's, I don't know how to say it. Uh, Naj, I don't know, Neleshnik. It's by, uh, is that good? Okay. <laughs> right by, uh, right by Coughlin and Tele Pizza. I like the, their pancakes. Um, uh, they see me quite a, quite often. Uh, restaurant Cleopatra is another place I go to quite often, and um, Clemati. Those are those are my three go to places. Uh, yeah, they keep me they keep me keep me full. <laughs> this next question. Oh my goodness, who is the biggest joker and kidder on the team? This is anonymous. Uh, sheesh. This is hard. Uh, we got a bunch of a bunch of uh, funny guys. Let's see. This is got Roddy. Um, if you don't know, this is big fella, number forty. Uh, Trey for sure. Uh, but there's two. They're two different type of jokes. Roddy's real, you know, quiet, and uh, he'll just tell you a few jokes around. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta be the one he's talking to to catch it. Um, Trey is just an all-around funny guy. Uh, Garland, oh my, we need to record those two one time, Trey and Garland. We need to. I think the guys would love to see that. Uh, they need a show or something. Um, let's see who else. AB is a jokester. <laughs> uh, I, IGN, if you don't know who that is, um, yeah, I think those four are probably the biggest, the biggest jokesters for sure. Can you imagine yourself serving in the army of the U.S. A SEAL? <laughs> this has to be my dad. <laughs> this has to be my dad, for sure. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think I can, uh, my dad did that, um, you know, I, I appreciate those guys, I respect them, um, but I don't think that's the route I would take, uh, we got some other things to fight for in America, um, here we go, next question from Major, um, I think it's Major, I don't know, um, you live in Las Vegas? Once the season is finished, tell us more about living in such a sin city. <laughs> um, living there is uh, the complete opposite of what you think it is. Um, 
maybe when I was younger, it was a lot. It was a lot. Uh, it was a lot of going out, a lot of a lot of parties. Uh, yeah, this is a city that doesn't sleep, so everything is open 24 hours. And when you're young and full of energy, you're not worried about sleep anyway. So I think uh, that part of it, I got out of my system early. <laughs> so when I go back home, I'm more just relaxed and uh, relaxing from the season. And once I'm done doing that, I'm all about preparing for the next one. So Vegas is Vegas will always be home. I love it. I, I wouldn't want to live in no other place, but I love Vegas for sure. And what happens in Vegas, it also stays in Vegas. <laughs> okay, ability to fly or to be invisible. Uh, Jermar, uh, if I had to choose, I guess my favorite, you get superhero, you can say it was Spider-Man. So I'd rather be able to fly and move around how he used to move around. Invisible, I don't know. I feel like, uh, no, nah, I don't want to. I'd rather be able to fight like, you know, like Spider-Man. Um, hopefully the fly will come with the web. Uh, what made you want to play basketball? From Mom Dukes. What's up, Mom? Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, football was, was my favorite, you know, for a very long time, for eight eight, nine years. Um, I was all about football. Well, I played both, but I was all about football. And, you know, around middle school, seventh, eighth grade, um, I started to think what I wanted to do in life. And sports was obviously what I wanted to do. And I had to choose between two sports. And I don't know, it was something about basketball that football wasn't doing for me. Um, playing basketball gave me a peace of mind. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's a hard feeling to explain. Uh, similar to the question of Vegas being home, like uh, the basketball court for me is home. Uh, my whole life, I guess, um, from high school, so the past eight, nine years, I have all been in the gym. And if there's times, you know, like an injury or I haven't had too many injuries, thankfully. Um, so any time, you know, spinning away from the court, it puts me in a weird place. So the, yeah, so basketball is home. This is why I play basketball. It's, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, I, just, I don't know how to say it. I don't, damn. Yeah, basketball is life for me, literally. Uh, love you, Mom. Thank you, everybody, for the questions. Uh, had a good time answering them. Some pretty good questions. And um, the next person I nominate for the fast break questions is Andres Pluta, Mr. Smooth Guy. Here we go. Amen.